Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be recapping episode 7 of Oh So Inspired Live and showing you the fabulous cards that viewers were inspired to create. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Every couple Saturdays, I get together with my sister Lisa, who is Crafty Days here on YouTube, and we have a fun little inspired crafty session. My channel members submit pieces for inspiration, and then if you join us live, you can submit a sabotage that Lisa and I have to incorporate some way into the evening's festivities. The inspiration piece for episode 7 was actually submitted by my sister. She is a channel member, so that is one of her perks, and everybody online with us live agreed that was okay. And here's a little look at the piece that she had chosen. The sabotage was submitted by Gladys P and she wanted Lisa and I to use a charm on our card in some way. And that sounds like a super easy sabotage, it sounds very friendly, but it ended up tripping us up quite a bit. But I do appreciate the extra challenge, thank you so much Gladys. Once we had our inspiration piece and our sabotage chosen, Lisa and I both got to work on our cards. Now here I'll just show you a few clips from the evening, but you can watch the replay which I have linked below. And if you pull up the chat box and turn it on to live chat, you can even pretend that you're there with us and seeing all of the chat messages. We both stopped a couple different times and asked for some input from the viewers who are with us live, and I do have to say it is helpful to have people right there who you can run ideas past. We did finally get our cards done and I'll show you a closer up look here in just a minute. But before we get to that, I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say a great big welcome and thank you to my newest paper trimmer level member and that is Iona Sue Schlaupitz. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. You help me keep sheetload of cards free. Now, if you're ever interested in learning more about the perks of channel membership, you can check out the link in the description box below. I would also like to do a little reminder before we move on. The next Oh So Inspired Live is this Saturday, September 4th at 6.30 p.m. Central. I will have this video linked in the description box below as well, so you can go ahead and click on the link and then set a reminder so you don't forget to join us. We hope to see you there. Starting with episode six, we invited viewers to join us in being inspired by the chosen piece for the evening. And if you do want to do that, you don't necessarily have to be on with us live. I do link the submission form in the description box of that live video, and you have a week to watch the video, see what the inspiration is, and play along. So here in just a little bit, I'll be showing you close-ups of Lisa and I's card, and then I'm gonna be sharing the cards that were sent in by viewers. I know that you're gonna love them, and I hope that you'll consider playing along. Up on screen now is a look at the original Instagram post that the Pinterest pin came from. This is by at Pauline's Papier on Instagram and her account and this post are linked below. She not only created the inspiration card, but she made a little video of three or four other cards that were very similar. So I hope you'll check that out and maybe go ahead and give her a follow. Now let's go ahead and see what everyone created. First up is the card that I made, and I went with a fall theme using craft as the main color on my card, and then I used some die cut trees, both a solid and an outline, with some different fall colored cardstocks. 
for my charm, I ended up using a little metal piece I had in my stash, and it reads gather. And like I said before, it was harder to use that than I thought it would be. But I do think it ended up going with kind of that fall theme. My sister also used some die cut trees for her cards, but she went with more of a winter theme. You'll see there she cut out three two-layered trees, made herself some snowy hills, and then I'm loving the lines embossed in that background and the little snowflakes. For her charm, if you look on the bottom left tree, she has used a little white snowflake. First up for viewer cards is Gladys P. She is the viewer who decided on our sabotage, and even though we have kind of given her a hard time about how hard it was for us to use a charm, we really did enjoy that challenge. So once again, thank you Gladys. For her card, I am loving all of the metallics and the texture with that background, and she has created a birthday themed card where she repeated balloons instead of trees. She also decided to meet her use a charm challenge and place that in the upper right. Now just a heads up, if you do want to join us for the next one and send in a piece, you do not have to necessarily use the sabotage on your creation, but if you do, it's always a little extra bonus. Thank you so much for playing along Gladys. The next card came from Rachel, and she has used some stamped and die-cut trees for her repeating element. I love the gold ribbon behind the sentiment and that fun shape, how on one edge it's kind of a rounded rectangle, and on the other edge it is angled. So very neat, Rachel. Thank you. And while we're talking about her card, I do also want to say that you can create anything from the inspiration piece. It doesn't necessarily have to be a card, and you could take something as little as the color palette from the inspiration. Whatever inspires you from that piece is what you can use to create a new project. Even though I am ready for fall, I am loving Carol R's throwback to summer card where she has used some fun lounge or beach chairs for her repeating element on the card. Her little sun in the upper right is fabulous and makes it even more summery. And then over on the left, she has a heart charm hanging from her love sentiment. Thank you, Carol, for playing along. And last but certainly not least is Alessa's card. She has also used trees and I'm loving her color palette and the texture in the background of them. Also, she decided to meet the charm challenge in the upper right, and her sentiment is so fun. Thank you, Alessa, for playing along with us. I hope you enjoyed this little recap of Episode 7 and that you'll consider joining us tomorrow night. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.